Now, see, see, what you said right there, I think a lot of older folks that ain't, ain't looked at it like that, they could get a better clarity. But uh, to me, a lot of these youngsters, they feel like, you know, since everything is coming out right right now, that this is how their world will be forever. And with you saying that, that, that should open their eyes more like, no, it's going to change once you get further down the road, you know. You may not be hit. Oh, man. Like you're getting it like. like it's going to change. Things change, man. Listen, man, you know, I've I seen it happen with my own eyes, man. You, you'd be surprised, you know, how fast things change. You know, fortunately for me, I'm, you know, I'm I'm still in good shape and I can move around, man. I got a lot of positive things, you know, man, that would drink itself into, you know, losing kidneys and, you know, bad health and smoke itself into, you know, bad health, not taking care of itself, having diabetes and walking, you know, and getting high and stepping on nails and not even knowing they stepped on a nail, you know, it's used to go to the hospital and had to get their legs amputated. I'm like, man, what happened to you? Yeah. Said, oh, man, I had diabetes, man, I was out there in the streets and I didn't even know my feet was, was infected until mm. they cut it off. Mm. You know, I mean, you know, so yeah, man, it's a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, they in, the, they in denial. Mm. You know, I mean, one thing about me is, I said in my first book is, you know, I said, man, don't let your history be a mystery. You know, if you look at my Instagram, you know, my Twitter, my Facebook, I'm always working, man. I always want people to know, man, that Ken was here. Yeah. And I try to, you know, give them, you know, positive information. Every now and then I stray. But when I stray, you know, it's, it's a method to my madness. You know, people say, yeah, well, he's putting crazy videos up. Right now, you know, I know people don't understand, but you know, if they, if, you know, if they stick around, they get it, you know, they get it, but they see them numbers going up. They see I went from 3,000 to 28,000 in less than a year. Yeah. You know, I mean, I know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. You know, because I've been around a while and I know the tricks and trades of the game. You know what I mean? And, you know, I mean, sometimes you have to employ different things, man, to get different results. Yeah. You know, a lot of times we want to believe that we, the reason and that, you know, everybody's just looking at us and we just so great and that we so magnificent and everybody loves us. A lot of times, man, people get tired of us and they want to see something else, yeah. you know? And as a strategist and a mastermind and a chess player, a human chess player, I got to make the moves that's going to lead me to bigger and better moves. Yeah. You know, that's what chess is all about, you know, you know, checkmates, you know what I mean? So when I bust a move and, you know, you see me grow that quick as you know, I'm pretty sure you've been noticing it, you know, ain't nothing but checkmate. You know, it's checkmate to my opponents. It's checkmate to myself. It's checkmate to Instagram. It's checkmate to anybody who want to play chess. Mm -hmm. Checkmate, you know. So, you know, yeah, age is, is important, but, you know, we got to realize we're getting old. And we can't let our history be a mystery, man. We got to keep making moves, man. We got to always be doing something pleasant, like you said, man. Don't get complacent. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Don't get complacent. Don't get comfortable with your situation. You know, keep making moves as you go and make more and more and more moves and you'll see, you know, the progress come after a while. You know, and how should you create like better habits? Because you hit on it right there. People need to eat right, too. Oh, yeah, man. I, man, I don't eat a lot of nasty garbage, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't get high. You know what I'm saying, man? You know? I mean, you know, man, and I, ain't, I ain't trying to be, say, sex is my thing, but, man, I don't have no problems with sex. You know, I, I have sex the same way I had, man, 30 years ago. You yeah. know what I mean? Because I, I take care of myself. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, you know, that's just important. But when you don't take care of yourself, you're all fat, you sugar high and all that stuff, man. Your blood pressure, I mean, you can't have sex or blood pressure make you have a, a stroke. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, but you got to take care of yourself. I mean, all that goes with, you know, taking care of yourself. You know what I mean? You know, a lot of men, you know, they become erectos. He 
didn't take the dialysis. Mm. Then he got a, a tumor. You know, when you that's what that is when you get your feet amputated. It's usually gangrene. You know what I'm saying? The tumor got on his feet. You know what I'm saying? So he got the tumor. So they told him they're going to have to amputate his leg. He said, no, nah, this dude, 44 years old, this is my cousin, man. His brother walked in the house, man, seen the man stretched out dead. Hey. You know what I'm saying? I mean, all he had to do, you know, was follow the instructions. Yeah. He didn't follow the instructions, and he died, mm -hmm. you know, because he wouldn't take care of himself. You know, they told him years ago that he had shit that he just wanted to still eat the steaks, and he wanted to eat the ham hocks, and he wanted to eat candy and drink sodas and drink liquor and stuff. And that, that shit killed him, man. Mm. That shit killed kill you, fam. Yeah. They don't think about that. They more so think about, you know, surviving, you know, you know, if people got beef with somebody in the street, but that what you eat and how you, you know, treat your, your health, that, that can take you out as well before any other. Oh, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll take you out, man. Hey, hey, man, that diabetes and that cancer take you out faster than a Uzi, man. You know, you get shot with an Uzi seven times and, and be okay. You yeah. get that sugar, man. It's, it's, you don't take care of it, man. Take you out. They take you out. The cancer take you out. If you don't treat it early enough, Take that seems like that's kind of flourishing. I've been hearing about a lot of people coming down with cancer a lot more and more now. Yeah, because uh, the food is different now. You know what I'm saying? They put a lot of chemicals in the food, you know, and they do that on purpose, man. I mean, I mean, man, the folks, man, my mom, man, she had cancer. You know what I'm saying? Has grown almost a hundred and seven million people in the last twenty years, man. You know what I'm saying? This population is growing rapidly. You know what I'm saying? Then you got uh, three hundred fifty million people here. If if, shit, if a million of them have a baby, that's another million people. Mm -hmm. You know, so now you got 450 million. And depending on the death rate and how fast the rest of them die off, you know, so that, you know, they could be on Earth another 20, 30 years together, which might produce another, you know what I mean, million a year. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, I mean, it can, it can get deep. And so, you know, they, population control, they want to kill the older people off. Mm. You know, so we get caught slipping, man, we dead. Huh. You never lied about that. Yeah, man, you get caught eating at the wrong restaurants or eating the wrong food. You don't get that cast. I don't understand it, man. I'm like you, man. I ain't. I, it's so alarming. I don't know what's happening, man. It's like, man, all my partners died from cancer. Mm. I know three people that I was close to, they all died of cancer, man, like in their 50s mm. and 40s. <sighs> Too cool for calm.